everybody, Z Master Epic here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download CrazyCraft 3.0 on Mac without Void Launcher. Well, you need to use Void Launcher to download it, but then you can just throw it away if it's not working well when you open Void Launcher. In the description below, I will have links to a video to show you how to do it on Windows without Void Launcher and a link to show you how to do Windows with Void Launcher and then a link to show how to do it with Mac on Void Launcher. So let's get s straight into this. So first you are going to need Minecraft Forge which I at, you need 1.7.10 for Minecraft 1.7.10 on the CrazyCraft file. So I will leave a link in the in the description below for this website. This is one of the only ways to get the 1.7.10 version of Minecraft Forge. So you want to go to right here. So if you have Windows, you click this. And if you have Mac, you click this. So I have Mac. I've already downloaded this. So once it's downloaded, it will um it will pop up in your downloads folder and you can drag it onto your desktop. And then from there, you need to go into regular Minecraft, and you need to load the 1.7.10 version of it to make this work. And then once you have loaded that up, you can double-click your Minecraft Forge file, and it will open this then I'll put a picture in and then you have to click the thing to continue on and it will usually say it has grabbed like 11 libraries and craft is all then you reload minecraft and you make a account that's you can just name it anything and then what you do is let's let this load. So what you do is you create your new profile. You name it something random like Jeff. And then you scroll through to the very bottom where it should say something with Forge, like release 1.7.10 Forge, and then a bunch of numbers. So you click that, and then if you want Crazy Craft to not be laggy, I recommend you make this area half as many gigabytes of RAM you have. So this number, you would change this number and it'll make Minecraft and Crazy Craft a lot less laggy. So then you save profile, which I'm not going to do because I already have a Forge profile. You can close down Minecraft and then you need to download Void Launcher, which I will leave a link to that website. So once you're in the website, you go down. Cross-platform download is like for like Mac and then Windows is for Windows so you click cross-platform download since this is a Mac and then once it's downloaded it will uh, it will open this one animation I'm going to do it real quick so you pull it out on your desk desktop, you'll double click it, it will open up and it says that and then 
you go into system preferences unless you don't have a special password to do a bunch of stuff so you go into system preferences go into security and privacy and then you do it says right here like it won't let it open so you click open anyway open close that and it's opening down there I'm gonna let it load So now this animation should pop up, and then it'll start loading up the launcher, which will look like this. You click Mod Pack, you scroll down to the very bottom. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay, so down here you should you should have your you type in your minecraft account and then you click crazy craft 3.3 <laughs> and then you click play and then you let it load up and if it doesn't work and load up that means you have a problem with voids wrath so then once you've done that, you would want to type this, you would go to Finder, click Go at the top, and then go down to Go to Folder, click that, and you should type in this right here but with your name, and then you click Go, and it'll bring you to this. So you scroll down until you find Crazy Craft 3. You open that and then you go down to this mods area right here. You open that. You have to take every mod in it. And I suggest you open another finder folder and then you need to drag them into the Minecraft mods folder and then when you open um, Minecraft on the Forge account it should work just fine like I can show you right now so I've already moved over all the crazy craft mods and everything so when I when Minecraft loads I will show you how to go on and Forge works perfectly takes a little while to load it all up though So if you did it right, it should look like this with it constructing mods and everything with a hammer and the anvil and it will take like about good two to three minutes to load it and it will show all the mods loading up and then you wait.
Oh, okay, so once it loads up, it should look like this screen. And then you can go in to single player and multiplayer. I've already made a world and I have been playing on it. And it should work just fine. And there you go. Please like, smash that like button, rate, oh, oh gosh. So subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and comment down below if you want to see me playing on a Crazy Craft server with my friends. See you all next time. Goodbye.